Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we want to take a look at the prayer of Ezekiah in 2 Kings chapter 20 and we will see how King Ezekiah had become seriously ill to the point of death. The prophet Isaiah came to him and told him, Man of God, set your house in order because you are going to die. The man of God did not despair. He did not blame God. He did not run away from God. But his faith allowed him to run to God. See, a faith that trusts God will run to him in prayer in the time of need. We will see that in verse 11, he prayed only 30 words. That was what his prayer consisted of. And certainly it brought him the answer that he needed. 15 years was added to his life and his reign in Judah. The answer to his prayer was quick. Before Isaiah had departed from the area just about where he lived in the courtyard, the Lord said to him, return and give this message of life to Ezekiah. He had just received a message of death. But he turned to God in prayer. And because of that, his prayer was answered. And now the prophet had to return to give him the message of of life today what is it that you have the message of death for god can bring life in any situation god is a god that hears and answers prayer and so because of that we can trust him to answer prayer. So we look at 2 Kings 20. I will just start read from verse 1. It says, In those days was Ezekiah sick unto death. And the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, came to him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord, saying, I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Ezekiah wept sore. And it came to pass, before Isaiah was gone out of the middle court, that the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Turn again and tell Ezekiah, the captain of my people, Thus said the Lord, the God of David, thy father, I have heard thy prayer. I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee. And on the third day, thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord. And I will add unto thy days fifteen years, and I will deliver thee. And this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city for mine own 
sake and for my servant David's sake. And Isaiah said, Take a lump of fig. And they took it and laid it on the boil, and he recovered. Where do we go when we receive bad news? We see what King Ezekiah did. He went to the Lord in prayer. So let's take a look at his prayer in verse 3 of 2 Kings chapter 20. 30 words. He prayed, I beseech thee, O Lord, remember how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight and Ezekiah wept sore we see three things specifically that he says to God he says God you know I have walked before you in truth. That truth is the love for the word of God. He said, I have a perfect heart before you. It means I have kept my covenant with you. Number three, he says, I have done that which is good, that which is right in your sight. As far as is, I have been faithful to you. This is the argument that formed the basis of Ezekiah's request to live. God recognized what this man said, what he prayed, and God knew that it was the truth. So God answered his prayer. He says, listen, the king, a man of God, is a man of faith. This man is a man who depended on me and trust me for help. He loves my word. And we too can love the word and rely upon them when we pray. I believe Ezekiah remember Psalm 34. And he joined with the psalmist that says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all all my fears the message of death would bring fear but guess what he remembered also verse 6 of psalm 34 this poor man cried and the lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles I believe you remember Psalm 34, verse 12, all the way to verse 19. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. He said, the righteous man cry, and the Lord heareth him, and delivereth him out of all his troubles. I believe he says, oh, the Lord is near to them that are of a broken heart and of a constrite spirit, and he saveth such. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. These are his promises. And we can pray his words back to him. The king was not saying, well, I am a perfect man, so God should allow me to live. In fact, yes and no. But Ezekiah prayed, knowing I'm praying to the one 
who gives life. And I am asking him to raise me up from this deathbed that I am lying on. And on the third day, I am going to go to the house of God to give him glory. So when he prayed, he was praying to God to say, spare my life because this life that you have given me and this life that you are about to be speared is a life that I will use to continue to bring glory to your name. So we understand from this example that when we pray, our prayer must always be to give God the glory. Our prayer will be for the good of us and for the blessing of others. The Lord heals Ezekiah. Yes, he raised him up, gave him 15 more years of life, gave him a son and deliverance to Jerusalem. So we see glory being given to God. We see good things happening to Ezekiah. And we also see the blessing of others, which is the deliverance to Jerusalem from the hand of the Assyrian. Let us fill our hearts and mind with the word of God, the promises of God, the truth of God, so that our prayers will flow from such knowledge when we pray. St. John 15 and verse 7, if we abide in him and his words abide in us, we can ask, the scripture says, whatever we will and it will be done unto us. Prayer changed things for Ezekiah. From death to life. His prayer was answered. Let us continue to take a look at the example of what Ezekiah did. How by faith he called up on God. But he was a man who used to call upon God before this very occasion arise. So it was not an incidental prayer, but a man who knew throughout his life that prayer was essential. So let us continue to pray and to trust God, depending upon his word, knowing that he who has made us such precious promises is faithful to deliver us in the time of trouble for his glory, for our good, and for the blessing of others. God bless you today. Thank you again for watching, and may God bless the U.S.A.